We're taking a look at the January 11th, Just the Keys. Stay tuned. Searching for greatness in a sea of the dying and shameless. Uh, a sea of the aimless. I don't want to be one of the nameless. I'm going to wake up with the mindset that one day I'm going to make it. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of Just the Keys. Today, I'm going to be showing you all the keys that you need to go after on the January 11th New Comic Book Day. I hope you're all ready. Make sure you hit that like, hit the subscribe, hit that notification bell, and make sure to comment down below for the algorithm. With that, let's get into this week's video. First book on the list is The Amazing Spider-Man, issue number 17. Written by Zeb Wells and has art by Ed McGinnis, this book is the first team appearance of the Insidious Six, a demonic version of the Sinister Six. It's also the possible first appearance of Rec Rap, who is a Spider-Man variant. Peter Parker not only has to find his way back home, but he also has to do it in a hellish fashion. Are you reading this book? Leave it in the comments below. This has a cover price of $3.99. Up next, we got Star Wars High Republic Adventures, issue number 2. High Republic always seems to have a key with every issue that comes out. This is written by Daniel Jose Older and has art by Tony Bruno. This book is the first appearance of Orn, Sayakim, and Lavalex Verzin, who are members of the Dank Grax. Jedi Padawan Sav Maligan begins to adjust her life to undiscover a ship full of pirates. Sounds exciting. And I just wanted to make mention, since I'm the biggest Spawn fan there is, they got Spawn Unwanted Violence issue number one coming out. There is no key to this book, but I think it's pretty cool that they're making a two-issue limited series featuring Spawn. Up next, we got Flash 790. Written by Jeremy Adams and has art by Roger Cruz. This book is the first team appearance of The Fraction, an invading group of alien speedsters. And it's the possible first appearance of Miss Murder. In this issue, we get to see an entire armada of conquering speedster aliens showing up on Earth and the most intense battle Earth has ever seen in the span of 60 seconds. Up next, we got Miles Morales Spider-Man, issue number two. This book is written by Cody Ziegler and has art by Federico Vincentini. And this book is the first full appearance of Rabble, a female villain who wields advanced tech. Spider-Man is going to have a huge battle in this issue and it's going to change his life forever and sometimes someone may not walk away from the fight. So those were all the key books that are coming out for the January 11th new comic book day. Now we're taking a look at my variant and read of the week. For my variant of the week, I'm going back to The Amazing Spider-Man, issue number 17. I'm going with the John Jiang variant cover on this one. I mean, just look at this cover featuring the black symbiote suit Spider-Man. Phenomenal cover. You see all the symbiote coming off of him, and it's just a really cool cover. Hopefully, I can pick this one up and add it to my collection. And for what I expect to be my read of the week, I'm going out with an independent series, issue number one. We got Black Cloak, issue number one, brought to you by Image Comics. Blade Runner style mixes with saga s drama and delectable fantasy slash sci-fi blend as two black cloaks try to solve the murder of a beloved prince in Kiros, the last city on the known world before his murderer tips the city into war. Sounds like an interesting read, I'll see how it is, and I'll let you know what I thought. But that wraps up this week's episode of Just the Keys. I showed you all the books that you need to pick up on the January 11th, a new comic book day. How has your New Year's been already? We are six days in. So let me know how your new year is going. How's your 2023? Leave it in the comments below. I want to thank you all for watching. Hit the subscribe, hit the like, and hit that notification bell. I'm Will, the Comic Beast, and I'll catch you next time.